Hi everybody, my name is Jackson Diary and welcome back to Outlast, the whistleblower. So, I just redid a few things because my game for some reason crashed and that guy's gonna attack me. And yes he is. Hello. Are you friendly? I can't really tell. Oh, you're creepy though. Oh, uh, nope! Oh, okay. He did not attack me. For now, at least. Well, that's pretty sweet of you. Those are kinda... I think I kinda have to... Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, big game. I also kind of think I have to watch my tone because I actually have a door open right now. Just a normal day in my house, man speaking to himself in front of the PC. No big deal. Uh, what is that static weird stuff? I guess it's every time I see blood. Or dead people at least. Ooh, battery. How nice of you. Those are kinda weird places all those batteries are placed. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my You're not security. I was I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here, please! Just push the button, open the door, we can get out of here together. Not sure if I trust, but I guess I have to. Uh, <laughs> you. Uh, uh, that is so messed up. Why would you? Is that one of the guys that... No, it's not the big one. Nah, it can't be. Oh yeah, also I had to redo a few things, that's why I didn't read the other one. I would never see a man die... Ah. But I have... I had... I don't know. Never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead boy outside of a coffin. Uh, dozens today murder it and worse. I looked into one man's eye as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the wreck. Uh, they have dressed me in. And changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They are all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The fear P is spreading and what am I? I watched this man die and only thought but and only thought it's not me thanks god oh I know I'll die someday I don't want to be murdered uh, pretty much the same hopes here uh, I should be more careful with the doors Oh, this was a dumb idea. Oh, wait, can I? Can I actually hide? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, I can't. I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. My next guess is freaking run for it. And God damn it, I'm not opening doors with E. Ah, come on. What? Ah, I see, I see. So. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! Oh, so he cannot get in here, right? Please stay closed. God damn it. Why would you close the door in my face? Uh, what is this then? Uh, how journal J. J for journal. Mr. Grant. You may receive requests for information from 
a Miss Lisa Park of Litwill Corporation in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consultant, contract 8208, resigned due to previous undiagnosed mental illness. You are one lying hell of a bastard. I personally visit Mr. Lisa Park and her sons. Uh, uh, and broke the news to them. Mm -hmm. With the silver ling lining. What? That miracle of cigarette trade would gracefully provide treatment. Oh, that's... Lying bastard, all of you. Mrs. Park has some less than charitable things to say about myself and the America of Corporation. I assured her that her that with her power of attorney she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it where I discovered that he resigned on the false pretenses he insurance would be cancelled and the family would be settled with not insignificant health care debts. Uh, hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making nurses of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one. I want to take care of personally. Here's Jeremy Blair. Uh, I already don't like you and you're probably a big deuce that is going to kill me any minute and can I please just... Why would... What an asshole. Why would you ever smack the doll like that? Logging it behind you. So dark everywhere. Wait, did I get from here? And suddenly silence. Ah, uh, no, thank you. So what exactly do I do now? There's nothing here. Is there anything? What the? What just happened? Oh, I don't have any. Huh. Don't have any shoes. That's kind of disturbing. Can I open this? No. Ah, battery. I did not see that before. Walked right over it. I couldn't feel it in my feet that I don't have anything on. Uh, so, am I already getting stuck and will be in need of, wait, ah, I see, so I need to find some place to climb up to, I think, not there, uh, I'm not so dumb after all, but that may actually be kind of too small. Anything? Nope, nothing. That was goddamn fast I got stuck in this game. Ah, wait a minute. So, can I? And can I? Nope. Okay, I can get up here and there must be a reason for it. Okay, there's no reason for it. I can probably not make it over there. Ah, no stitches. Ah. Okay, I'm 
completely in a loss to you. Oh. Ah, why am I so stupid? Unless. Oh, that actually worked. Great job, Jay. Super. Uh, I have a strange feeling that I'm in a need to run. Okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe it's just paranoia. Hello? Anything? Okay, nothing. I'm a, I'm a little careful because last time when I was in the early game in this game some weird dead boy just jumped at me out of nowhere. That's, that's the thing. That's my first episode of Outlast and you'll probably see what I mean. That wasn't really funny. It was... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It was horrible and it gave me a freaking heart attack. Kind of. Not entirely, but... Holy hell, that scared the living crap out of me. Ugh, oh, disturbing. Even more disturbing. And why do you not have a mattress to lay, lay on? Lie on. Something. Also, one thing that could be extremely cool with this game. How cool would it be if there was actually possibilities to make mud... Nope. Where's the door? Uh, there's someone out there. I know that chase music. What is that? That's... I have no idea what that is, but holy hell. Chase music. Oh well, not chase music, but... The other kind of scary... Music that I don't like. The Mr. Big... I want your hit deuce music. Please don't. Oh. What in there? What in the freaking name of... I don't even know what you're doing. Are you actually slicing humans? Is that the guy that is later going to be... The big scary? Ugh. I feel so grossed out right now. Okay, that's just wrong on so many levels. I can even not be Hello Uh you haven't seen me yet. Uh, that is probably all about to change. Ah uh, please don't let me. Can I? Uh 
Oh. I don't like this game. Well, I like it, but uh, damn, does it make my heart spin, kinda. Don't ask to see my. Uh, don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, uh, when you finish the lawsuit at that you prizes footage from Murgov army, ah, uh, Murgov's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bur bury it or burn it. Let my son remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Mm -mm. Please don't make them show you my body. Uh. Uh, bathrooms. Uh, bathrooms are bad. Kinda. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god damn it, game. I swear something went in here. Okay, maybe just more paranoia. And in a minute when I open the door, he'll spring loose. Uh, but what the hell? Okay, nothing. For now. Oh. Ah, uh, that... That thing is so creepy. Okay, saving. Sweet. Lovely. Amazing. Uh, yes. Made it. And then I'll cut it now because I'm almost out of time now. So thank you very much for watching. As always, take care. And I'll see you all in the next video of whatever I make. So bye. Oh, hello, Shadow Deuce. I almost missed you. Just almost. Oh.